This is George Stinney. At, at age 14 in a small town in South Carolina, he was convicted of capital murder based on a very doubtful confession represented by a lawyer who did a, a dubious job representing him. He was uh, sentenced to death, and at age 14, he is the youngest person to be executed in the 20th century. This image comes from the collection of, of Watt Espy, who was an historian who resided in Alabama and devoted decades of his life going throughout the country, uh, investigating and collecting records of executions that have occurred since colonial times through the late 1980s, early 1990s in this country. By the 1980s, Watt Espy had discovered nearly 15,000 people executed. And part of his process is he would gather primary and secondary source material on these people he was researching, and then he would write up an index card detailing all of the elements of the crime, the trial, uh, all sorts of racial and gender aspects of both the accused and the victims. And over many decades, he compiled uh, over 150,000 pages so one of the reasons it's really important and significant to continue to develop the National Death Penalty Archive is so we ensure and um, make available resources to scholars who are interested in writing about the history of the death penalty in the late 20th century. And it's not just historians. Now, now these records, as the Stinney photograph suggests, involve real people. Sometimes we forget that the statistics, 15,000 to 16,000 people executed in this country, these are people whose lives have been affected. They're important. We want the public, we want litigators, we want historians, we want researchers to have these records at their disposal. And they are. They're going to be preserved uh, and available at the University at Albany.